that's the key question I sort of ask everyone I talk to in the Bitcoin space. Well, you know, why does Bitcoin have value? And, you know, some of the answers you get are around the fact that it's got a, a big group of believers, the so-called Bitcoiners in this. Uh, but also more recently, uh, you know, if we compare the rally we've seen over the past few months to the, the last big rally we saw back in 2017, one of the big differences that's being talked about is the fact there's a lot more institutional money going into uh, Bitcoin this time around. Yes, there is a large retail participation, but you are seeing larger investors involved. And secondly, uh, on top of that, you are seeing large technology companies also jumping in on actually purchasing Bitcoin and holding some of that the, as well. The likes of Square, for example, and, and Tesla as well. So these are some of the differences that you often hear about when, when talking about the two rallies uh, more recently and the one a few years back. And the thing there, Arjun, is that the retailers are piggybacking on essentially the institutions now because, you know, I was speaking to a friend yesterday who bought four bitcoins at a price of $1,000. You can do the math on what his gains are like at this juncture. And there are scores of stories like that, right? So it's, it's the free ride for them. So why not? There's some of that. I mean, to some extent, uh, it's interesting to look at the Bitcoin community. To some extent, they're front run almost, uh, you know, ahead of the institutions. The institutions were looking at what the retail investors were doing and then jumping on this. And then, yes, you have got those investors now jumping in as the price has been uh, beginning to go up uh, as well. And I think the Bitcoin story is an interesting one because, yes, you've got that institutional backing, but also uh, the idea is growing uh, as Bitcoin as some sort of digital gold. Now, this is something something that has been discussed over the past few years. I remember talking about this back in 2014, but also uh, that idea is starting to grow also again on an institutional level. The fact that Bitcoin could potentially be a hedge against inflation, could potentially be a safe have haven asset, much like gold. I think that idea is beginning to gain steam. And when we talk about future prices and some of the huge calls we've seen, that is a, a big part of the story as well. Yeah, I think the only last angle that I want to highlight, Arjun, and I do want to get your thoughts in, on what are the techies feeling about this? Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of the financial guys getting into Bitcoin, uh, but our technologists, I mean, starting with Elon Musk also, I mean, is spreading across uh, uh, their medium too, uh, that they believe that they should hop on to make money on, on this asset class? Yeah, I think a lot of the technologists, uh, you know, are, are, are very bullish on the actual underlying technology. The fact that that Bitcoin is decentralized, it's not owned by a single entity such as a central bank like fiat currencies uh, are issued. So that's uh, one of the big differences they talk about. Also, the fact uh, that blockchain technology, this underlying technology, whilst uh, they talk about transactions also being much, much slower than existing, uh, the likes of Visa or MasterCard, for example, there are upgrades underway to to the Bitcoin network as well that Bitcoin proponents feel could propel this to become a, a real crucial currency going forward. These, again, are wait to be seen kind of moments, but these are just some of the arguments you're seeing as to why there is such belief from technologies, technologists around Bitcoin. Yeah.